The commencement of, uh, of voter registration, which was due to start today, was postponed due to delay in, part of the, uh, in the delivery of part of the kits and also in the start of the training access. However, voter registration, the Commission has now, this morning, resolved after hearing, briefing, full briefing from the Secretary on behalf of the Secretariat and the management, the Commission has resolved that voter registration will commence on the 19th of November 2012. There are 25,000 voter registration centers across the country. The Commission will gazette these centers in a few, in a few days. In fact, by this week, the registration centers will also be, will be, will also be published in all the major dailies in the, in, the, in, the, in the country and also in the Commission website so that you can know where you want to register. We have 25,000 registration centers and 15,000 BVR kits. The kids, like I said, will be rotating within a county assembly ward based on population and distance. All the BVR kits have, have been distributed to all the constituencies. All other related equipment, such as batteries, scanners, power generators, power cables, are in the process, are in the process of being received. More than 600 uh, staff of the Commission Secretariat are fully engaged in this activity. That is excluding the 30,000 BVR clerks who are today starting their level three training. We are also starting today the process of training of clerks. And there are 30,000 clerks who are being trained to manage the voter registration process. And the training is going on in all the constituencies of the country. The kits arrived, and the kit has been distributed to all the country. Registration centers have been identified and will be gazetted soon. What remains, Mr. Chairman, is for Kenyans to turn up in large numbers for the commission to register them. Uh, the experience is not a bad uh, affair because it involves about the uh, issuing of your ID, that is the voters, then the ID number, the identification number, the national identification number or the passport if you have it, and then it involves the clerk who, who key in the, the ID number and the, all the details come in the screen because they have already updated their, their register. So once you give out their, your identification need card, they see that the, 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 your, your details is captured in the, in the system. It also involves the, the use of your giving out your fingertips. They take details of your fingertips. Uh, that is the four, the four hands, and the, both the, the left hand and the right hand, and also the thumb, both the left and the right. So the, basically, all the exercise takes around the five minutes, and you are through with the registration. It is very interesting. It is very interesting because uh, one, the, 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 the education we have had and the feeling which I've had, actually uh, seeing how this thing can, uh, can take place within a very short time and uh, captures the whole information about me. Yeah, so it's very, very interesting. It is a challenge. I think they have to work extra hard. If possible, we can go uh, late in the night because uh, I don't think the third days are enough because this is a new technology. And it's not actual uh, the, uh, the, the issue of the, those who operate the machines, but also those people who are going to go there, they have to learn, uh, make sure that their fingers are clean. Because like me, I was repeatedly actually putting my fingers on the machine because maybe the fingers were wet and all those things. So I think it will be a challenge for even those people, the voters themselves. So I think they need really more time. And because there's no time, I think they need to consider maybe uh, going extra hours for our people to register.